Hi, I'm Mike Noondorfer, Advanced RV in Willoughby, Ohio. Last Saturday, Ryan, a good friend of mine who built his own food truck, asked me about off-the-grid power. Many of the events he serves don't have shore power, and customers object to the noise of his onboard generator. Ryan's technical, and he's a great mechanic. He calculated his electrical needs, both AC and DC. He's considering an auxiliary engine alternator to generate power, batteries to store it, and an inverter to transfer most of the power from low voltage DC to 120 volt AC. I answered Ryan's questions based on my experience at Advanced RV building over 50 off the grid lithium battery electric motor homes. As I think about our conversation, I realize that the questions I asked based on our experience might be more valuable than the ones I answered. Maybe others would be interested. So here goes. I asked Ryan, number one, is battery weight important to you? Lithium batteries weigh less than half of AGMs and provide more power. How about battery life? Lithium batteries can last more than five times longer than AGMs. Will you have demand surges from the batteries or have to charge them quickly? Lithium batteries charge and discharge much more quickly than AGMs without damage. Is the initial cost of your system more important to you than the lifetime cost? Lithium batteries are many times more expensive than AGMs. Will you be able to keep your batteries above minus four degrees Fahrenheit at all times? Lithium battery electrolyte freezes at minus four degrees Fahrenheit and the batteries are destroyed. Will you be able to keep lithium batteries above 32 degrees Fahrenheit when you need power? Drawing battery power below freezing permanently degrades lithium batteries. Will you have a way to keep the batteries from temperatures over about 110 degrees Fahrenheit? High temperature operation shortens battery life. And then I asked about the alternator. What size alternator are you planning? Have you studied the output temperature curves for the alternator? Higher operating temperatures seriously degrade alternator performance and life. When idling, the engine heat can heat up the alternator, reducing output. It doesn't have the airflow caused by vehicle motion to cool it. High temperature reduces output and shortens bearing and insulation life of an alternator. What RPM do you plan to run your auxiliary alternator? If you set the alternator up for good output at idle at high ambient temperatures, will it destroy itself at typical highway engine RPM? When you size your inverter, have you considered the loss of efficiency converting to, from DC to AC? Have you considered the operating temperature curves for the inverter? How will you keep the inverter cool? There were more questions and answers as we chatted. As I thought about our conversation, it brought back the challenge it has been to answer these questions and more and create a lightweight high capacity, reliable power system for our advanced RV motorhomes. We're excited about our accomplishments. We've given our clients excellent off-the-grid capabilities without propane. We are currently testing our fourth generation power system, a design which provides redundancy and many other improvements. We will continue to improve as technology improves. Thank you for listening. <music>